Okay, I'm going to try to give you a very clear um, idea what's going on here, Mother. You asked me, so I'm going to tell you. I transplanted this plant from there. This is the space we have. And um, we have a banana growing here that's on the neighbor's side. Someone else owns this land here. So there's a kitchen here. This is where all of the cooking takes place. Right here. This is our aunt mother, the literature evangelist, and little preacher boy here. And uh, so this is where the cook gets. This is rebar, is what this is. So a little brick. So what we're doing here is we're digging a cistern, is what we know it as. It's a water storage area. Um, there is a little water that drizzles in in a, in a little half-inch tube pipe that drizzles in. And so I'll show you the bathroom. Well, someone's in there, so I can't. But this is basically it. This is the... This will be... Um, the master bedroom. You can see the floor is not cement. Um, I've been working on this door here shipping this out. I broke that out yesterday. Um, the water, the way we do it here is we carry it in these jugs. And I'll show you. And this is kind of dark in here. So I'll show you. I <coughs> throat hurts really bad. I'm just, and my nose is a lot of mucus coming out. This is the only normal window in the house but it's really rotted. I think the, the biggest blessing is that it is cement. You've got cement. You've got a very nice cement structure, and they own the land. So here's a pipe. But it just doesn't come through there for some reason. It's coming up a little bit of a hill here. So they go down here and take the pipe apart. So I've come up with a system that'll work. So when there is at night when there's not a lot of water use, it's going to fill that tank, and then we're going to have a little pump on there, pressure pump. So I'll let Brycey show. Brycey, can you take that apart? Open that. Open. Yeah, so this is what we do. So we come out here, and then we take a bath or fill the jug. Okay, close it. So, and I, I parked the vehicle over here. I can't get it all the way to the house because it's so congested in here. But uh, I'm able to get it this close, and I've, I've been sleeping in, in the car, the mission vehicle. So, a little bit about this particular... Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good morning. That lady, poor lady, she... She came over and was crying and saying her husband is ill and before we had a chance to do anything, he died. She has a number of children, I forget how many. So here's the mission vehicle. You can see our logo there and AY Baol stands for Adventist Youth and Baol is the name of the town here since uh, we're doing a lot of health evangelism. I I use the word health power, and I took out the logo there off Dr. Ludington Han Fields' book. And I put the little chip logo on here, right there, health by choice, not by chance. So this vehicle is a real blessing. I can show you in the back here. I've got my bed right here. I can open the window. Last night was horrible, though, because the mosquitoes were really bad. Thank God it rained a little bit toward the morning. but. The mosquitoes were coming in through the cracks, and I had to have fresh air, so it was a combination of suffocating, putting a sheet over. So I can fix that, though. I'm going to get a mosquito net, and I have the money. I also put this on the back. You start, and Jesus is coming soon. Get ready. And that really does a lot of good here in this country because it starts conversations. And uh, the new star, a man, I was parked in town, and um, sitting there getting some food to eat, and a man came up to me, are you seventh day Adventist? I see the new start on your car, and I said yes, so he sat down and ate with me, and he was just visiting, he was just traveling through town, so 
this vehicle, we put 27 or 28 people in it the other day, a couple of days ago. And um, some of the stuff that we've been doing with it, of course, is uh, visiting sick, singing to them, going to homes at early morning, 4 o'clock. We get up at, leave at 3.30. <coughs> it takes an hour to drive to town by car or motorcycle. So that's a little bit. I'm, I'm sick. I long for just an apple or an orange, which is here, but, you know, it costs money. And you don't have money, so I don't know what that is looks like some sort of fruit. I found some bananas over here and I did eat those, but uh, we have rice, brown rice. I eat the brown rice and just, what is this? Is this fruit? Looks like a guava. I keep looking for fruit. This is rotten. I don't know where the tree is, but see, it's not like Hawaii where people don't eat the fruits. Um, they feed to the pigs. Here, fruits are a highly prized commodity. I mean, uh, something. I don't know if you want to call it a commodity, but yeah, it, it they for them it's it's money. They may not eat it, but they go and sell it for high price. And uh, by the way, interestingly enough, there's a lot of misconception about eating healthy here. If you do have money, like some Filipinos do, and they eat chicken, fish, beef, some of those things, the Adventists do eat that here, um, that per kilo or per pound costs more than fruits and vegetables. So, anyway, um, I don't really like this particular spot, but this is where the literature evangelist has been working, and I'm just... I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, it's really, really hard here right now because my um, my head, the congestion, my nose got plugged up. I couldn't breathe last night. Mosquitoes were bad and uh, no food this morning and last night. No water for a day to drink except the dirty water that they have in a, in a container that's really dirty. I had to drink it. I had no other choice. But today they're looking for some water for me. It costs only dollar fifty for five gallons of it, but they want a two hundred peso deposit for the container, which is um, five dollars. <laughs> so this is a little little spot God provided it. So we watched uh, a, um, a very wonderful video that I had last night from the United States on the faith and. Uh, I'm sharing with them, if we do what we can do, do our part, and we have are, are obedient to God, then He will provide for our needs. And I, I really want to say that He is providing. I'm not complaining. Um, I'm not asking for anything. But this is the little building spot. This is their kitchen. This is the living area here. And you can see it. Pretty poor. This is our Seventh-day Adventist brethren here, the literature evangelist for this area. And uh, I, you know, I, I'm i learning the culture, what to say and what not to say. But you have to be very careful about mentioning people's names and stuff. So, uh, especially if it's on YouTube, because people get jealous and whatever. And especially if there's an American interacting with them. So, okay, so God bless, love you guys. Um, please pray for me here. And uh, just wait till the end of the month, and if there's any money after you pay the bills there, just let me know. I basically have one car payment left. I've been able to make, if I purchase that vehicle with three payments, $1,200. So uh, after that's paid, that would be a blessing. Look at this. This is a cayenne pepper, and it's white. Sealy. Very, very hot. Okay, God bless. Love you guys.